Welcome back to Possibility Storm. I'm your host, Slane, and we're back with another CDH battle for the ages. This time we have a mixture of popular commanders, new and old, coming together to clash for the title of Best Deck of the Week. I'm joined as always by the stream team who bring their signature styles to the game. Stay tuned. If you enjoy the content, consider supporting us over on Patreon at patreon.com slash storm. For as little as a buck, you can help us keep the lights on. Tiers include Discord benefits, one-on-one -on -one deck building help, and even physical merch. Thank you for those who have already pledged, and thank you to everyone who drops a like, subscription, and comment here on the channel, as it all helps us grow. Now, let's check out our commanders. Rev has pulled the lucky roll again this time, and has brought his Beamtown Bullies list to the table. This Jun deck packs a punch in a form of a ton of great value, interaction, and some punishing pieces as well. The commander wants creatures in the graveyard to gift to his opponents, goading them and providing haste so that they can be swung around at other players, while also providing debilitating effects. The Chain of Smog combo or Wolver Dragon Loops can be performed to finish off the game. Next up is Joey back again on his Ashling list. By now you should know the drill, but in case you don't, this mono red powerhouse is looking to find a couple of copy spells in conjunction with the commander to rummage through the deck, culminating in Eldrazi Titan Shuffler Loops and direct damage spells to finish off the table. It sounds complicated, but it's really rather simple and effective. Kirk is third and he's playing his Obnixilis Captive Kingpin list. This Ragdust Value Train cares about pinging opponents for exactly one damage in order to gain card advantage by exiling cards off the top of his library. These cards stick around for a turn and provide additional hand to play from. Loops can form where pingers will infinitely ping and he'll exile his deck, making the range of combos available for wins, or simply by pinging everyone to death. I'm bringing up the rear and I'm piloting my newest Modern Horizons 3 creation, the Necro Bloom. We were criticized recently for not speaking on this card during our set review, so I took a second look and decided I would try it for myself. The deck is pretty decent, if not a tad slow. This is essentially a Get Rog Monster combo deck with the additional protection provided by White, while also being able to combo with Chain of Smog and Abdel Adrian loops. The Dredge on all lands provided by the commander can ramp us pretty well to boot. It unfortunately seems to usually fold to faster lists. So there you have it, let's see who takes the dub this time. Any pregame actions? I got a gemstone, a little lucky yeah. gemstone. Dude, I think I have to exile this reiterate. Uh, Badlands. Mana Crew. Demonic Tutor. Shuffle, and I will pass. Draw a card. I'm gonna play a land. I'll exile this Simeon Spirit Guide. And I'm gonna cast a Seething Song. I'm gonna use four oh, of them. Treasonous Jesus Ogre. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Flo floating, and then I'll pay nine life, so I'll go to 31 and cast Commander. And then gotta ship it there. Uh, let's go with Arid Mesa. Lose a life, find a bad lands, and pass. We'll draw for turn. I'll start by casting a Jeweled Lotus. Play a Command Tower. Play a Delighted Halfling. That's not enough colors. I'll pass. Untap. Upkeep. Uh, equip Trigger. Got two. Uh, play a Homeward Path. Wheel of Fortune. I've got a Vamp Tutor to put on the stack. Ass Trophy and Dockside. I feel oh. your pain. Dockside, Firebrand Archer, Blood Crypt, Diabolic Intent, Desperate Ritual. Animate Dead, Six, Silence, Noxious, and Dryneth. Chromox, pitch a REB. I'm passing. That was a shit seven. I'll untap. I got nothing on my upkeep, and I'll draw. Uh, I'm going to play land, cast a Mox Amber, tap for three, and cast an Imperial Recruiter. ETB, I'm going to go get a Conspiracy Theorist. Pay three life, go to 28. Cast the Conspiracy Theorist. Pay 9 life and play this file of Galadriel. Pay 6 more life, go to 13. And I'm going to... Or, I'm sorry, actually I only need to pay 3 life. Because I this taps for mana. So I'm going to channel Twin Shot Sniper. 2 damage to Islane's face. But I'm going to hold priority on it. Cast a Deflecting Swat on it. I'm going to allow the Ashling trigger to resolve. I'm going to discard a Grape Shot. I'll exile it with Conspiracy Theorist. And then draw. Hold priority on the deflecting SWAT. I'm gonna pay three life for a bolt bend targeting the deflecting SWAT. Trigger Ashling again. So I'll discard a me. Lion's Eye Diamond and I'll also exile that with Conspiracy Theorist. And draw two from full out file of Gladriel. And we all lose two and two damage all creatures? Correct. Let the bolt bend resolve. That's a pay nine life, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I'm going to four. And I'm going to cast a dual caster mage with the deflecting swat still on the stack. It will copy deflecting swat and it will trigger Ashling Rummage, pitching a mountain, drawing two from Vile of Galadriel. Then do you get four red mana? Four red yeah. mana, yeah, that's the next thing. Then all this will resolve. So let's go bin, bin. Okay, so I take the two. I'll play the Lion's Eye Diamond. 
I'll use one of the red here to cast a Strike It Rich. Before I draw these two cards, I'll crack the Lion's Eye Diamond with the Rummage on the on the stack. Just exile this Shatter Skull Smashing, and then I'll go to six red mana floating. So I have to pay two. I'm gonna pay two red mana, so I go down to four floating, um, and I will cast the Grape Shot. On cast, I have the trigger, so I'll uh, rummage. So pitch a red elemental blast and draw. Initial target of Grape Shot is whose face? Kirk, your face. And then I have ten. It would be because of Grape Shot itself, so it'll yep. be ten. So I have ten extra copies, um, and I'll split them up uh, three at each of you, four at Rev. So there's a, yeah, there's a bunch of triggers before you actually take the damage. So um, so I'll have ten copies so that will be 10 magecraft triggers so i'll have 10 rummages is essentially how it's going to work city blessing will be my my trigger count sure. so i have i currently have 10 rummages pitching molten duplication exiling with conspiracy theorist draw um pitching mountain to the bin draw pitching mountain to the bins to draw one more so pitching a right of flame draw pitch uh this fiery temper pitch the city of traitors and then draw i'll pitch this tempt with mayhem and i will put it in the graveyard uh, and then i'll draw so pitch this jessica's will to the graveyard and draw pitch dual strike and that will go to the conspiracy theorist zone and draw with the original grape shot still in the stack i'm gonna cast invoke calamity so i'm gonna use my floating four mana and my treasure my targets are Jessica's Will and Seething Song, I think. But I have a Rummage Trigger first. So Kenzin will go to the graveyard, and I'll draw two, actually. Put those two on the stack. And seven in hand, who are you targeting with your thing? I got seven, That's too. the most. Yeah, so I'll, I'll target Islane's. Yeah, 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 those actually do trigger Ashling, so Six. you cast both of them. So I'll, I'll actually, so before I make the seven red, I'll Rummage. So I'll rummage shenanigans to the bin and draw, and then make seven red and exile from uh, Jessica's will, and then I'll have another trigger after that. So mm -hmm. exiling past in flames, uh, a mountain, and mana crypt. And then second, this gets exiled, exiled, gone forever. So does invoke calamity, where is that? Rummage again, so I'll rummage a uh, sundering eruption into the bin, and I'll put it into the conspiracy theorist zone. And then Seething Song, I'll add five more red mana. Okay, and then I can let the last Grape Shot resolve the stack and clear. Play a Mana Crypt. I'll play a Mox Opal. No, this is this is, this is is game. So I'll pay two, and I'll cast Dual Strike. And I'll let that resolve. No, 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 no. Rummage. So I'll rummage this mountain to the bend and draw. After that, I cast Molten Duplication, targeting Dual Caster Mage, and it will get copied. So the first one will resolve, and it will copy Dual Caster Mage, and I can copy the the uh, molten duplication that's still on the stack and then I can make infinite dual casters and kill you guys. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. 